Hello everyone, uh, my name is Griffin Davis. People call me Cup, Cupcake. It's just kind of what it is, I'm not really sure. Um, but I hope you guys are doing good today. It's pretty nice over here up in Atlanta. Uh, Braves are playing down the street, so that's always a good thing. But today I wanted to kind of talk about shooting short films. Um, I've gotten a good chance to shoot a couple just of myself within my apartment um, with what I have, and it's been a whole lot of fun. I've probably shot five or six of them and I've loved it. It's been great practice and motivation and just it's been really nice to just start something and go for it with not a whole lot of plan and not a whole lot of backlash and just do something that I want to do with no excuses. So keeping the trend going, I wanted to film a video yesterday and a little short film just like the past ones I've been filming and I didn't want to make any excuses again for myself. I knew that I wanted to film something and that I needed to make something. So with all that pressure and you know drive, I, I knew that something was going to be made that day and I didn't know what or where to start like I never do. Um, it's always just kind of daunting starting a new project or small or big. Um, but I knew I wanted to film something and so I gave myself some parameters. I told myself that I wanted to take 30 minutes out of the day and that I wanted to create the story and film the whole story within that 30 minutes. This one, now to make things a little easier, uh, instead of trying to think of some elaborate story, I wanted to think of the things that I actually had to do slash wanted to do within the day. Um, and one of those things that I jumped to really quickly was I wanted to clean my shoes. There were some Nike blazers, uh, the jumbo swoosh ones, if anyone cares, I think they're pretty sick. But I knew I wanted to clean those. They had mud all over them and just, I knew I wanted to clean those. So I thought to myself, why not just film that whole interaction and that would be the story, just me cleaning some shoes. Um, obviously very simple and I thought very doable within the 30 minute time frame I gave myself. Now the idea of cleaning a pair of shoes made it in my eyes, really simple to choose a place to film. Um, the bathroom, the, the bathroom sink is where I've always cleaned my shoes at. Might be gross to some people, it's just what I've always done. Um, and specifically the right sink. Um, this is my sink out of the two in the bathroom, which is I share a bathroom. And so that even helped the whole case of where I want to shoot, what was the framing going to be like. It, it helped a whole lot. I also knew that the bathroom lighting in my bathroom was very bright um, and very full and I knew that I wanted to sort of make it a little more harsh and control the light a little bit more so I turned off all the lights and ended up using my Amaron uh, two foot RGB tube the thing's been amazing I've used it almost in all my little shorts I've been making and it's a great tool and it just helped me give some more control that wasn't too harsh this will help me frame my first shot tremendously more easy. <laughs> um, I sort of had to cover up the light with my body in the first third, as you can see, which almost made it as a nice OTS. And I definitely wanted the shoe to be the main focus, so that was kind of nice and centered up. And it just made a nice composition start. Um, and I think that that really helped just start the whole process and filming. Um, yeah. Now for the second shot, I wanted to move the camera and get a different view, although I know sometimes this isn't always the right idea um, and you really shouldn't move the camera unless it's adding to the story, but in this case I thought it would help transition and just add a little bit more of a sequence um, to what I had going so far and what I just started. So moving the camera about parallel with the granite countertop and the sink and everything, you still have me in the first left frame and or the first third of the frame, and then the shoes in the middle center frame. And so the transition was really easy visually, although I had a big problem. Our light that we put up is, or the light that I put up is still right where I need to be shooting at, and so I needed to figure out where to move that light and still get some of the harshness that I was getting. And I ended up finding a good place on my roommate's sink side on the light fixture up top. I just hung it up there and it still gave me a nice direction of the light and as well as the same just full brightness that I needed to sort of match it in post and that was perfect. It worked out great. I think the lighting came across just as perfect and just as well. Honestly liked it better than my initial lighting that was a little more harsh. Now initially the first shot that we shot was gonna be my introduction and I wanted to almost kind of zoom in in post as a 
introduction as a starting shot for the sequence, although I like the idea of ending just like you started. Um, I think movies, when movies do that, it's it's really cool. And so I always like to kind of keep that idea going. Um, and so I ended up kind of just moving the camera a little bit so that we open still almost parallel 90 degrees of where we were, but you get a little bit more of the mirror. And so you get a little bit more of me, the character, maybe, maybe a tad bit of motion, not really. Um, but you just get a little bit more uh, as an introduction. And so we saw me starting in that shot, uh, the whole process of washing the shoes and everything. And in the second shot, we have me ending the shoes. And so that's kind of the story, right? So now that we had three shots, we had an opening shot and a middle shot and ending shot. But I wanted a little bit more of a insert shot, just a little close up, just a little kind of break things up a bit. Um, everything was pretty medium close, but I wanted a nice and tight shot just in there to, to show and, and break, break from a little bit. So I decided to sort of remember and look at my motions when I was initially getting the little brush wet and getting soap on it. And I thought oh, it would be perfect to zoom up on that and get a nice close up of that shot. Um, just to help break things up, like I said, um, lighting for this was the same. So it made it really easy Just bring the camera in, put it on like 70 millimeter and got a nice close up of that. Tried to kind of mimic the motions uh, in the original shot that I was looking at and let that kind of go from there. Now boom, there are four shots that were pretty good um, in my opinions and would make a nice story. Although I wanted to have some fun and add a little post movie uh, trailer or bit if you would like in the Marvel movies and I thought it'd be fun if I just hopped on the counter and was checking out the new clean shoes that I just you know washed off and stuff like that. Um, I never ever had a mirror growing up and so like a big mirror so I always just stood on the counter to check my shoes out. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever done that but I thought it was funny and, and just a little fun to throw in there. The goal is to be a little more, bit more wide and kind of stay on that left third with my body, maybe middle a little bit, just to help focus and not have any jarring cuts. But it's me just hopping up on the counter, camera's a little bit skewed to the right, just so it's not in the mirror. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really fun. And that was it, that was everything. That was all the five shots I did. Um, this probably took me about 20, 25 minutes maybe, just to kind of block things out and think about things but it was really fun and I think it's came out great. So yeah, here is the final results. I hope you guys like it um, and yeah. Yeah, so there it was, um, all five shots of glory. Again, it's nothing crazy, it is very simple, but it is still making something, it is still doing something, and it was still pushing myself. Now talking about color a little bit, I guess, while we're here, um, I didn't want it to take the film out of its place, if that makes sense. The bathroom's a little newer, it's usually lit really nice. I didn't want to make things really dark or super dramatic, I wanted to be grounded in the color. Um, and that's why the color is the way it is, if you're wondering. And again, the edit is very simple. It's just a couple cuts here and there. And that's about it, that is the whole thing. Again, I couldn't be more proud of myself for just making something within the time frame I gave myself and, and going for it. Now, I really hope you guys got something out of this video today. Um, I know it's something crazy, and like I said, this film is not meant to be groundbreaking or anything like that. It is meant to just be something that I created and didn't make an excuse up for. Um, 
and that makes me so proud and I hope this kind of gives you motivation to just go and make something it doesn't have to be super emotional or jarring or rememberable or rem remembering or rememberable y'all know what I'm trying to say like it just make something have fun push yourself don't make up excuses for yourself so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching Maybe some more content like this, I don't know. I'm trying to just test things out. I've loved filming lately and I can't wait to produce more little shorts like this and just practice and I hope you guys practice as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Go Braves, go Strohs.